Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to easily create an animated exploded view from any of your 3D models with the exploded view behavior from the animation package. What you see here will be the finished animation we will create together. First, I will show you how it works out of the box. Then I will teach you about the different parameters you can work with. After that we will do a nested animation. And at the end, I will show you how to influence the direction parts will be exploded to. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have our clutch assembly and the first thing we do is we create a step and name it explode clutch. Now we are adding a show exploded view behavior and we drag and drop our clutch assembly here, click fix it and the property which we need is automatically added. Now we just have to connect the explode clutch step to the start step. Let's press play and see how this looks. So the displacement isn't really big here, but we can change this easily by going to the behavior. Here on the scale, we'll just say 5. And let's put the duration of the animation to 2. Now let's try again. There we go, an exploded view of our clutch in just a few easy clicks. Let's talk about the explodable property and the exploded view behavior in more detail. By default, all first-level children of the specified game objects will be displaced. The distance of the displacement is calculated by multiplying the respective current local position of each child with the scale value in the behavior. This means that children located at the same position as the parent will not move at all. Meanwhile, the greater the distance between a child and its parent, the larger the displacement will be. It's also notable that down here you have this explodable child objects list and you can manually add objects if you just want to have some specific parts of your assembly to be exploded. As said before, if you don't add anything to the explodable child objects list, by default all children will be moved. Okay, back to our clutch. We want to close it again. We could select ping pong which would close it automatically. But later on, we want to add a second animation and include a touch transition. What we're gonna do now is we duplicate the step and name it implode clutch. Then we connect them so it's closing directly after it explodes and we set the scale to 1 which simply moves all the children to their respective original positions. Now let's quickly test this and see what we've done. The next thing we want to do is to add a nested animation for the cylinder. We create a new step and name it Explode Cylinder. Here again we add the behavior. Then we drag our cylinder here. We click fix it so we get the property we want. Next we duplicate the behavior and name it Implode Cylinder. Here we do it with a scale of 5 and duration of 2, and for implode we use a duration of 2 and set the scale to 1. Now, the first thing we want to do is explode the clutch. Then we want to explode the cylinder. Then we want to implode the cylinder and then implode the clutch. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. First the clutch, then the springs go out. Then the springs go in and everything is closed just as we wanted it. For the last step, we are gonna add a new step. We name it touch and add a touch transition. Now we connect them, then we duplicate the transition and put it after the explode cylinder step. Last, when the animation is done we want to be able to start it again. 
For this we connect the last with the first step so that we can repeat this animation anytime. Let's see how this looks in VR. Here we are. And now I'm touching and it goes out and out. I touch it again and it closes. There is one more thing I want to show you and this is how to modify the displacement distance and direction. For this, I'm quickly removing the touch transition because I don't want to go in VR again and I start the animation one more time. What you see is that this adjusting ring part is not really visible. This is because it's at the same position as the clutch housing one. What we want to do now is have it displaced a bit more like this. So what we're gonna do is we create an empty game object. Now we copy the transform of the adjusting ring to the new game object so it's at the same position. Next we move the new game object a bit further to the parent. Something like this. And then we take the adjusting ring and reparent it. Now the local position of the game object is used and not the one of the adjustment ring. Let's press play and look at the result. Just as we wanted it, perfect! That's it for this tutorial. In this VR Builder tutorial you've learned how to build an exploded view with the exploded view behavior from the animation package. We really value your feedback, so please let us know what you think. If you have any questions, post them in the comments or on our Discord server where you can get in touch with peer VR Builder users and developers. I will leave the links in the description below. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on future tutorials. Thanks for listening.